This video explains how to select certain rows of a pandas data frame based on a logical condition in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in the second code box. So in these lines of code, I'm creating a new data frame called data. And then I'm printing this data frame below the code box using the print function. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, our data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now, let's assume that we want to extract all rows of our pandas data frame where the column x3 is equal to 1. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the next code box. So in this code box, I'm using the log attribute. And within this attribute, I'm specifying that I want to extract only those rows where the column x3 is equal to the value 1. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object that I'm calling data sub 1. And I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, this new data frame contains only three rows and all of these rows contain the value one in the column x3. It's also possible to extract rows based on a range of values, as you can see in the next code box. So in the fourth code box, I'm once again using the log attribute. However, this time I'm specifying that I want to extract all rows from our data frame where the column x3 contains a value larger or equal to 2. So if you run these lines of code, another data frame is created, which is called data sub 2. And as you can see below the code box, this data frame contains also three rows, but three different rows compared to the first example. And this time we have kept only those rows where the column x3 3 is greater or equal to the value 2. We can also specify that we want to extract rows based on multiple values using the isIn function, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to keep all the rows of our data frame where the column x3 is equal to the value 1 or is equal to the value 3. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data sub 3 is created. And this data frame contains four rows. And as you can see, all of those rows contain either the value 1 or the value 3 in the column x3. In the last example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to use multiple logical conditions to extract certain rows of a pandas data frame. And for this, we are using once again the log attribute. However, this time we are specifying two logical conditions. So the first logical condition is specifying that we want to keep only values greater than the value 3 in the column x2. And then we are specifying a second logical condition using the end operator. And this logical condition tells the Python programming language that we want to keep only rows where the column x3 is equal to the value 1. So after running these lines of code, another data frame subset is created. And as you can see, this subset contains only two rows. And both of these rows are greater than the value 3 in the column x2 and equal to the value 1 in the column x3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.